Hello, my name is Ken, uh, owner of Whit Machine and Tool out here in Fort Garland, Colorado. I came out here from the Marine Corps. I served in there for just over 10 years. And I came out here and used my GI Bill and went to machining school over at TSJC there in Alamosa, Colorado. From that point, I, I bought a CNC machine because I'd had an idea about how to make a clamp-on muzzle brake that actually worked. And... Uh, so that was in 2012, and those have been highly successful, and they're still working great. We're making tons of them every day. Um, then here about a year ago, I had an idea on how to make a suppressed AR rifle that was completely integral. You had a full 16-inch barrel, so you weren't screwing things on and off the end of the barrel. Your point of impact always stayed the same, and it was all built together as one compact unit one tax stamp and it just it's been working extremely well Ken let's set, set this up and if you can explain to our viewers what you have been seeing on YouTube and YouTube uh, like videos that um, impact all suppressors regardless of the brand it, let's set that up and explain that for our viewers if you will one of the the most prevalent things I guess we've been seeing is people go and, and watch a video on YouTube and get some unrealistic expectations about how quiet a silencer truly is. Uh, anything that you use to measure sound, it, it also has to measure it so quickly when we're talking about gunshots. Most um, meters can't keep up. A lot of times, if you go and watch a video that's got a guy shooting an AR-15 with no silencer, no suppressor, nothing like that, the gunshot is not as loud as it is in real life. The same way on the other end of the scale, it's not as quiet as it makes it appear on the video. The microphones that are in these uh, sound meters, um, even on video cameras, smartphones, they're modulating the sound to bring it all to the center. So loud sounds are quieter, quieter sounds are louder. That's where the unrealistic expectations are coming in, regardless of manufacturer of, of any silencer or, or product that's out there. Now, what we use is this new Larson Davis digital decimal reader that's got a sound pressure level microphone on it. This is crazy expensive and it can measure to to the the levels of fast enough to catch gunshots and suppressors to actually get a true decimal reading so can you explain a little bit about what um the technology was before this product came on and uh, let's compare that and how it now gives a truer reading uh, against all suppressors there was some analog versions out there that are still in use today, and they still do very well. It's just these newer ones are even more precise than what was available before. But when you, when you get down to it, really, how many decimals are we talking about as far as you know what you what you're hearing and, and what you can't? A difference of two decimals, you you may not be able to pick that up with your ear. Very good. What are we seeing now uh, in comparison to what you have designed as an integrally uh, suppressed AR upper and a model of suppressors that you've got as well? Um, how is this meter comparing to what you see other brands talking about? Using this meter, taking it out, shooting it, and all of that, there's, there's so many variables that come into play when you're trying to measure the sounds. If, if you're indoors for example or standing next to a rock wall it's 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 a little bit different the way that your ears perceive it these meters work off of a sound pressure level so it's going to read the same no matter if it's sounding louder to your ear or not very good and uh in your opinion so far what readings are you getting out of this compared to what other manufacturers are uh, representing as near as we can tell, we're, we're getting somewhere into the high 20, 120s as far as decimal readings, and that is incredibly well.